Hello peeps and a bit here with another Filmic Fridays-ish kind of thing um, out with Jamie B training today because she's doing the uh, Trekathon I think it's called where she's basically uh, a load of like a few hundred people walking across the Peak District um, and she's doing it for uh, Alzheimer's Society so we're out training in some woods near Chesterfield today. Big reservoir down there. Hopefully we'll get to send the drone up in a bit. There's a lot of cars in the car park though, so you know, I have to make an assessment. But, and uh, yeah, vlogging and walking down a steep hill. Trek fest. It's on your head. It is. It's on my head. It's on her head. <laughs> I should just just check check my surroundings before I, uh, you know. <laughs> She's wearing the advert on her head. As you can probably tell, not on the gimbal today. I have actually got a walking stick with a quarter twenty thread on the top because you know, cinematographer. <laughs> but how are we feeling? Are you talking to me? Yeah. How are we feeling? Oh, all right. Yeah. I've walked like one twenty fifth of what I'm gonna walk next week, so <laughs> easy right? Yeah. Do that twenty five times. Yeah, that's the longest you've done so far, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you've got to keep to a certain pace, haven't you? Yeah. The very slowest I can walk is three kilometres an hour, but I should be aiming for about four, which is what I'm about hitting, but without any serious hills. So mm. slightly worried, but I'll just do my best. Hence the hilly area here, I suppose. <laughs> I think you can do it. If nothing else, I'll, I'll chase you with a drone to, and like with the threat of decapitation might uh, G you up a bit. <laughs> you know. Spur me along a bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's have a out of the water. So uh, I guess I guess I'll uh, bring you back in once we're going along the water, I suppose. See ya. And that's the walkover. Um, skipped a bit there because we were knackered. <laughs> but yeah, I've just um, dropped Janie B off. Um, she's off in Chesterfield with her parents who have just come down from Blackpool. For some reason they like drinking in, in Chesterfield. Go figure. Um, and I got the presents but I forgot to get the bags. So I've just swung in and got the awesome Lego Man bag. Because <laughs> I'm now off to Jackson's party. And his dad's our photographer, so he obviously cameras. <laughs> but yeah, I got these two guys. I'm nice to find these two guys. Which are, that's a one-step um, animated uh, type dinosaur prime. And that's a two-step uh, Grimlock from the movie. So, yay! Um, so now off to see Jackson. And a few of the Team BIB people I think are going to be there. And, uh, should be a good time. That's Dean, recovering from a rather Traumatic wedding, yes. <laughs> yes, very, very busy. Let me stay. Yes. Um, People don't realise how much work it is, do they? No. It was seven o'clock. And and uh, that's that's our other mascot. <laughs> look, 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 two of Team Rebecca. Yay! Wow. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm kissing you. You're still smelly. 
It probably grainy as hell in here, but this is the Team Reflector suit. You probably recognise it from other videos, but uh, yes. yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Awesome. It looks like Alex has let 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 it go. Which is good. We were talking shop a minute ago. Alright. It's like, yeah, we're, we're about to do Abba Rice again about, about a week's time, so... Yes, very soon. Oh, soon. thank you, mate! Ta More Harry Bow. <laughs> right, I'm gonna... I think I'll need to wind, wind Nick up and see how... Oh, he's over there! Yeah, go up to Nick and wind him. Yeah, let's go, let's go and wind Nick up and see how old he is, because he's... Uh, yeah. Oh, we I know it don't because our kids are older, but yeah. I just want to do a shout out as well out, out to Nick as um, the third member of Team Reflector, is that he was absolutely amazing yesterday. Um, as a second photographer and just helping out, basically saying, I'll take your bags, you go and take your photos. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need, that's what we do. It's, it's what we do, we need. Right, let's go and, go and wind him up, shall we? How was the wedding, anyway? Yeah, the wedding was good. Yeah? I didn't know you were vlogging. Hi. 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 Dean, how was the wedding? Always, always vlogging. He's had his opinion. I, I've had my opinion. Yeah, he's, he's dead. It, it was... It was good, weren't it? Yeah, uh, I like that, I like that hesitation oh. there. Sorry. <laughs> Makes you think of other things. I'll, I'll stand up and do it with you. So <laughs> you're on your own. Oh, bless it. He does... He's very... It's like... I'm starting to teach oh. him how, the, how to... There you go. We need like oh, an... Oh, side situation. order. Size difference, yeah. 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 That's what, that's what that yeah. <laughs> that is actually a better shot. And that's why he's creative director. <clears throat> <clears throat> you, you say about what you did yesterday morning. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. With the groom. Okay, yeah. Did they notice that Bernie's tie? No? Uh, yeah. No, that's fine. I didn't get a shot of that just so we didn't get incriminated. Thank you. Yeah. Did I ironed his tie and went, oh, no, oh, that's, that's too No hot. way! No. Oh, God. <sighs> they was playing on the Xbox. That's what yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> he's the best man in And bride asked for that shot. That yeah. One now. But, I don't know, a game of FIFA. <laughs> I think it was FIFA. I don't know, football games with the like. Mm. Like we care about that sport, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah, football. <laughs> Mind you, you 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 obviously don't care about sports because you support Sheffield Wednesday, so. Oh. oh. Seriously. And, and my wife's from Preston. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I saw I saw that. Did uh, did something happen? Yeah. Yes, Preston, something did happen. Preston walloped Sheffield Wednesday last night. Oh, All right. nil. What what's a Sheffield Wednesday? Is yeah. it like a uh, Shrove Tuesday or something? <laughs> It's a good call. Seriously. What, what time are you starting? <laughs> About five o'clock. Oh, football team. Five o'clock. Oh, a yeah. football team. My best man was Ozzy Owl, man. Seriously. Do you know who? There you go. Martin. Oh, my best man. Oh, my, <laughs> okay. Martin. I know of him. Yes. He was who? Ozzy Owl. Mm. He was going to bring oh. the head. Oh right! Oh, well, it was that, going to bring it for the ceremony, and Stacy was going to kick his backside, but it didn't happen. So, which is good. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, I cleared that one up. That would have been funny. Yeah, it <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Not what you know, is it? Yeah. Mm. So, no, uh, he had to uh, uh, go on. It didn't know. I'm sort of the one Sorry. that's got a bad memory. Like it, these two fill in for me. It, it didn't <laughs> know he was getting a uh, from Mustang. Oh yes, yeah. that was that was a surprise to him. I suddenly got the surprise photos of him looking at that for the first time. You <laughs> did. Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> you did. I did. Yes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yep, that was the Nick, whole wedding. Nick is not um, uh, awkward on camera anymore, as you can see. He's, he's quite naturalistic. Uh, yeah. He, you know, he just knows how to stay still. I tell you the irony of it, right? Is he's, he's 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 an actual actor. Like I'm I'm, I'm a musicals actor, which doesn't really count. I've been in one You've scene. Never done it. I've been in one scene of a scene I wrote in a film I'm making. I don't think that qualifies <laughs> me as an actor. <laughs> I, think I, I think that qualifies me as a producer who is uh, taking advantage of his position. <laughs> yeah, which isn't That's the worst way. way to take advantage of that position, but <laughs> not not a producer's like yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're professionals. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, we want to take advantage of each other. <laughs> <laughs> He does. I tell you, I'm still sore. <laughs> <laughs> um, Play hard, work hard. 
It's me thing to think. <laughs> so, so we're real peeps. It's uh, you know, just don't we're professional, but we just we don't. Uh, we're like this all the time, to be honest. Playing with toys. <laughs> <laughs> He wants a frame. Bitch, pick it up. Yeah, pick it up. And then you do the whole cheesy, yeah, that. There you go. <laughs> there ah, I'm sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. <laughs> so, on a scale of one to old, how, how do you feel? <laughs> I feel fine. Yeah? Yeah. There you go, there. You have the honour. It's going it goes so quickly, then, doesn't it? Oh, well, time's the funny thing. It's not really going quick or slow. It's the memories you recall, like there's a perception of time. It's true. It's in speech. The more you remember, the slower time appears. I like that. It's a good way of looking at it, dude. It's, it's, the, it's the only way to look at it, it's, it's uh, how it happens. Mm. The less you remember, the faster things appear to happen. Mm. It's time for... Mental Health check in of the Week! Yeah, it's been alright actually, yeah. Mental Health check in of the Week! Yeah, I'm actually doing surprisingly alright this week. Because you see, that's the thing with mental health, isn't it? Um, it can feel a bit lonely, it can feel like you're up against it, but in PTSD at least, at least in my case, I mean I'm suffering from PTSD because of some very bad memories. But like Nick says, maybe it's time to make some new ones. Because it's all connected. Mental health, time, you know, the experience of time, the experience of happiness and joy and all that. It's all relative really. And different people cope in different ways. I mean, as we've seen today, JB, um, she has anxiety and she's started walking because she finds that quite therapeutic. Some people put themselves into their pets to show them love and affection and that helps them. Some people take comfort in their, their family and friends. And sometimes like with me, I was ill for, for many years um, and I felt alone at the end of it, even when I was surrounded by, by people who, who I knew loved me but it didn't feel like that to me. But I forced myself to get out there and try to interact with people again and through that, through that I met Nick and Dean and they have become not only my uh, you know, business partners, they, they, they are my best friends in the whole world, they genuinely are, they're very dear to me, I love them like brothers and that wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been poorly in the first place. So yeah, I guess I've got to be thankful for that. Maybe there's some, some a situation like that in, in your case. Maybe you know, when you actually sit down and think about it, there, there is something to be thankful for and something to keep going for. Maybe we should all, mental health or not, just make the effort to go out there and make some new memories, some good memories. And with that in mind, rather than drive back home to Nottingham, I'm going to swing back to Chesterfield, give my daughter a cuddle and my in-laws a high five. Who knows what will happen from that? I like to move it, move it, bit.